Hello everyone, it's June 23rd, 2014. This article at Daily Mail UK Mail Online caught my attention it's about Wi-Fi. Whirling Wi-Fi vibrant images reveal how wireless networks sweep and surround us. A student from Newcastle University has made images that show Wi-Fi Lewis Hernan made a program that can measure Wi-Fi strength. He then took long exposure photography to expose wireless networks. The results are stunning arrays of color and fantastic shapes. He's also released an app so one can take other similar images themselves. A student has produced a series of vivid photographs that reveal what the networks that keep us connected to the web look like. The images created by Lewis Hernan from Newcastle University show spectras of Wi-Fi sweeping and swirling around in bright beams. They were produced as part of Hernan's digital ethereal project, which aims to bring the visible world around us to life. Newcastle University student Lewis Hernan produced these photographs of the invisible wireless network as part of his studies. Hernan, who is studying for a PhD in architecture and interactive design, used self-design equipment to create these images. I call these images specters, he says, because wireless networks remind me of ghosts. They are there, but you can't see them with the human eye. The fact that we are becoming increasingly reliant on something that we can't see intrigues me. I wanted to find a way to show the wireless which is around us and also to show how it changes. It is an impossibly fragile and volatile infrastructure that holds our digital technologies together and shapes the way in which we interact with the digital world. Something as seemingly inconsequential as walking around the house will interfere with and reshape their propagation and strength field. Close the wrong door and the bedroom becomes a dead spot for wireless. Hernan captured the, the images using a piece of self-designed equipment that converts single strength, signal strength, excuse me, into color images. He also has an app available on Android called Curlian that enables people to measure the strength of Wi-Fi around them for themselves. The images show how Wi-Fi signals of different strengths surround objects and people. They were created using a program that changes color depending on the strength of a signal. Blue is the strongest, ranging to red at the other end of the scale. And as you can see, there's two more. The left-hand image shows how Wi-Fi signals around a ladder may appear, while the image on the right reveals how Wi-Fi signals surround people when using their phones. Scrolling down, an American artist created his own colorful representation showing that Wi-Fi waves, peaks, and pulses would look like if we could see them. Nicolay Lamb worked with former NASA astrobiologist M. Browning Vogel last year to learn how the networks move and based the designs on coverage data taken from around the U.S. Congress and the National Mall in Washington. His results show the shape of the Wi-Fi signals in different colors were used to distinguish the different sub-channels. Well, more and more I'm seeing that this Wi-Fi is very dangerous and to see a visual of what these signals look like around objects and people to me is very frightening. And not only are these Wi-Fi signals around us, but they're penetrating our bodies and they're causing a whole lot of damage to people. I'm becoming more sensitive to this and I know that other people are and are sharing similar stories. So please circulate this information if you can and I hope everyone has a great evening.